All right, we're gonna do a radial design. So radial symmetry is basically when you take like a pie slice and then you copy and paste the pie slice all the way around. So we're gonna use this template. And I left the center of this white so that you could do any design you want to in here. So like the Aztec calendar, there's like a, a face in the middle. So it's up to you what you wanna put as your own little personal symbol in the middle. Um, so we'll just go ahead and pretend you drew something in here. And then around here is where we're gonna start. It's this first little ring. And I just want you to pick any old pie slice in this, so this is like a slice. Any old slice and start right here. And I want you to think of something really easy, really simple. So maybe it could just be a bump. And then what you're gonna do is make that same bump in each one of these little pie slices. So bump, bump, bump. And if you need to turn your paper, if that makes it easier for you, you can turn your paper. All right, so we took just the same bump and put it all the way around. And then we're gonna look in this next section. And I wanna think about what you can do in this section that you can do all the way around. So maybe this time, instead of a bump, I'll do a triangle. All right, so we have our first row around is all these little bumps, and then the second row is all these little triangles. And now we have this big shape, this big space. And for here, you can do, again, you can kind of do whatever you want, but whatever you decide to do, you're gonna have to do in all of these. So you wanna keep it a little bit simple so you don't make it too hard for yourself. Um, so maybe what I'll do for this one is I'll just draw, I'm gonna keep it really simple and just do a circle. So I'm gonna draw a circle in the center of each one of these. All right, so now you could start to color it or you can try and add a little bit more. So in each one of these, I have a circle. Well, what if I do kind of a bump that goes around the circle like that? So then on each of these, I'm gonna do a bump that kind of goes up and around the circle. And then maybe I'll do a V underneath each circle. So I'll just do a V shape. So you can see that mine is not perfect. Some of my lines get a little bit different, but that's okay. Um, from, a, from afar and once I kind of look step back from it, it looks really nice. So you can keep going, you can keep adding little details. This last ring is something kind of fun you can do. It's up to you again how you do it. You could do a triangle, you could do a bump. Um, some people do shapes. It's really up to you. So maybe I'll just gonna, I'm gonna do an M, a letter M over and over. Okay, once you feel like your mandala is done, you're gonna to start to color it. And again, to stay with radial symmetry, you're going to do the same thing in each little slice. So if you color this circle this color, you're going to do all of those circles that color. Okay, when you're all done, you can color it. Um, I, I kind of did a fast job of coloring just to, to not waste your time. Um, but you can see that now we have a radial design. We have the same little design going all the way around.